Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, that is everyone who's a youth leader. Uh, so tomorrow, we're going to be talking about two gifts of the Spirit, the gift of wisdom and knowledge. They're kind of tied hand in hand. Uh, so uh, we're going to go we're going to go through that with them, and we're we're going to have a short message on that, and then breakout sessions. So we're going to have questions for you uh, to go through with them. Uh, just just to, as an example, so here's a couple of them that'll be on there. Like describe a time when when you discarded wisdom. What was the result? Um, so I want to encourage you guys to kind of look it up, kind of kind of find out more about wisdom. Uh, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this little video chat here. So uh, number two would be like how will you how will you go about growing more and seeking wisdom? Uh, there's another one explain the differences between knowledge and wisdom so just to kind of give you an FYI knowledge is the word knowing the word wisdom is the action to what you know so uh, anyway so they tie hand example? in hand together give an example. oh Kim's here she's talking <laughs> to me about giving you an example uh, the example is knowing the commandments of God and actually obeying the commandments of God so we, we can know the Bible inside and out, but if we don't put it into action, then there's really no wisdom behind it. So uh, that, that's the irony of it. Mm -hmm. So, And what does godly wisdom look like? Um, and so that is, that is godly wisdom looks like in the Greek and the Hebrew both kind of lean in the same direction of obedience to the commandments of God. Um, so putting things into action. Uh, goes back to that. So God gives us these gifts uh, as we as we learn to know Him more, and that that's what happens. So like He He puts that in you because you are actively seeking Him. Because He says that when you seek Me with all of your heart, there you will find Me when you seek Me with all of your heart, and so that they, they correlate. And so it's nothing like like this oh like kind of superstition that somebody just uh, like God just like pours down this supernatural kind of wisdom on them, although He will whenever whenever they know Him more. And so whenever the more that we seek God in our lives, uh, whether it be before we go to work, spending time with Him after work, whatever it looks like in your schedule. Putting God inside your work. Hey, that's a good thing. Um, so is it possible uh, people have the gift of knowledge and they don't even know it? It's possible. It, it's very possible. Um, because a lot of times we sit in church and kids grow up in church and they hear things and they hear messages and they hear the scriptures and they hear these things and, and they don't even realize that they're actually growing in knowledge. Um, and so that actually will hopefully lead them down a good path later on in life filled with wisdom because knowledge is is having knowledge to like construct it so talks about skilled workmanship and even does in in uh in timothy you know he says that we are be to be skilled in our workmanship of dividing the truth knowing it and so uh, so just want to give you guys a heads up for tomorrow there will be questions so you might want to do some little google searches on wisdom uh We'll have some questions for you guys. Oh, uh, here's the scriptures. And the scriptures will be the main passage, obviously, is 1 Corinthians 12, 8. There'll be uh, Proverbs 1, 2, and 3. Not, uh, sorry, Proverbs 1, verses 2 and 3. Proverbs 14, verse 12. James 3, 13 through 18. And James 1, Verses five through six. So, those are it. Oh, also Hosea is a great one. So Hosea four four through six. My people die of a lack of knowledge, and so it is so true. So my clock here says I've been going for four minutes and thirty six seconds. So I'm going to say goodbye, and I will see you all tomorrow. And Kim will see you too. Notice I got the flower <laughs> and the H. Y'all have a blessed night.